So you mean to tell me that you can slay these fashion twists in 30 minutes? One hour tops. everybody it's your girl ariel aka ari coming right back at you with another video and today we are talking about passion twit oh wait let me take off this jacket i'm sorry <laughs> i was just being super extra for my intro anyway y'all if you're interested in seeing how i accomplished this super cute hairstyle that i've gotten a crazy amount of compliments on already i didn't think it was that great but people absolutely love this hairstyle so i was like shoot might as well post it now so here we are. We just gonna get into this. But before we do that, make sure you thumbs up this video, you comment down below, and you subscribe, and turn on that notification bell. Go follow me on Instagram, and subscribe to my new channel. That was a mouthful, but wow, I did that with one take. I'm getting pretty good at this YouTube thing. Anyway, let's get into this video. Okay guys, so this is the hair we're going to be using today. It's really cool because each of these twists were actually handmade by a professional braider and came out so bomb. That was the color I just showed you guys there. I will have all the links in the description box, so don't worry about it. This big pack comes with 8 packages in each, and in each package there are 12 strands. So you'll, I only used about 7 packs, but you can use all or less depending on what you want. So these are the cornrows, I got 9 in the front, and the back is just a little bit of chaos. I hope y'all can understand that braiding pattern. It, it's just I put it in a way where I'll be able to put it up in a ponytail and I have an a weird undercut that accidentally happened it's a long story maybe I'll explain one day but anyway this is like a technique that I was using to crochet in the hair and this technique is thanks to you guys from my previous video which you guys should really check out my mini twist video that I did in one hour and I was complaining how it takes me forever to crochet in the twists because I couldn't open the holes and y'all were like a few guys a few of you guys were just like why don't you just use a crochet hook to pull the hair through and I was like what do you mean and I just tried it out and I was like whoa look right here this is a struggle that I usually go through when I'm trying to open up the twist and you, you guys are just like what are you doing girl just use the crochet hook it's gonna take you so much less time so I did and y'all it yo I appreciate you guys so much just like cut down my time in half I was able to finish this in like 30 minutes as opposed to an hour so thank you guys for that you'll see that I'm going back and forth between two techniques one the first one I showed you where I pushed the twist on the crochet hook first oh that's how it looks when it goes up in a ponytail that's how I did it, this braid pattern but anyway one pattern one technique is the one I showed you before where I put the crochet twist on the crochet hook first and then I pull it through another is where I push the crochet hook first and then hook the hair through I don't know if I'm sounding confusing but you guys could probably see on the camera so last time I left a lot of details I mean I left the video to play and you guys said you really appreciated that like you didn't want me to cut it out so I did the same thing for this video I just let it play I hope you're not getting bored but I know a lot of you guys said it was cool so I'm just gonna let you guys see what I did um, I have to mention that I put way too many twists in the back I ended up going back and taking out about a pack's worth of hair because it was way too bulky and I didn't have enough for the front so make sure you space it out a bit more than what you see here but I did that because I was paranoid with the color my hair is black and the hair is red and I didn't want to you know have any peep shows going on so I overpacked it but don't put this many take it easy you only need like a few packs in the back and this is how I did the front so I'm gonna shut up now because I feel like I'm just confusing you guys and I don't want to do that. So enjoy. Hey loves, sorry for the interruption, but I have to come and tell you I am doing a $100 giveaway right now that's open. All you gotta do is head over to my Instagram, follow me there, and read the instructions underneath this post, and you will see how you can enter the giveaway. It's super easy, make sure you go do that right now, okay? All right, I'll leave you alone now, peace.
Okay guys, so I wasn't liking how short it was looking. So, and I've always had that problem with passion twists. So I decided, let me try and stretch it out. So I'm gonna be using this technique called, y'all y'all probably already know it. It's um the African threading technique to stretch hair. And I've seen, I've seen a lot of naturals do it. So I was like, if naturals do it, I bet it would work on extensions, hopefully. We'll see. I really don't know if this is gonna work because I'm only gonna do this in an hour. I only have enough time to leave this in for an hour. So let's hope that it works. So I already have a whole, what do you call this? Something of yarn. I have a whole bunch of yarn here. I stole it from my sister. And I cut out this long piece. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just knot it. And this is just gonna help anchor it. I like to do two knots on top of each other so it's kind of thick. And I'm just gonna cut off the excess string. Then I'm gonna take my mousse. This is my Herbal Essences Volumizing Mousse. It smells so amazing. I love this mousse because of the smell mostly than anything else. <laughs> This just makes your hair smell really good. And I guess, <laughs> and I guess it also makes it last uh, pretty long. And sometimes during the crocheting process, you could end up frizzing up the hair. So it's a good way to just tame all that frizz down. So I'm just going to take the string. As you can see, I divided my hair into four. I'm going to hold the hair. And then, you see the knot? I'm just gonna put my index finger to hold it by the knot. And I'm just gonna go ahead and secure it. I swear I wasn't getting all this trouble off camera. Anytime I get on camera, that's when everything starts going haywire. I swear I know what I'm doing. <laughs> so I'm just gonna wrap it around a few times. I swear this is not happening to me off camera. Jeez. I think my hands are nervous. I don't feel nervous. It must be my hands. Now that it's anchored, as you can see like this, I could pull it without it slipping. Now I could start wrapping down. going to loop it around my finger like this you see that and I'm going to pull the string through and make a knot I still have some hair out it was supposed to be all the way down to the bottom like this but I ran out of string I could actually add some more string I think I'm gonna do that just so that it balances out with this one I have this small little extra piece here so I'm gonna do the same thing and knot it we looking like the ghetto version of pee, pee long stockings ideally you're supposed to leave this on overnight like I'm supposed to go to sleep with this and leaving it in for it to be fully stretched out but I don't have that luxury right now I have to leave in an hour so I'm gonna be taking this down in an hour well a little bit before an hour so I'm just praying to God that it actually stretches out and that's long enough I think to help it I'm going to take a hot blow dryer and I'm going to like just blow it on it for a while and hopefully that does something because I really want it stretched out. I think I'm gonna put another coat of mousse. Okay, I think I'm just gonna, well, I'm gonna go ahead and just get the blow dryer and just hold it on there for a while. I don't know how long. I'm not gonna give you guys, I would like to do it for 10 minutes, but I know myself, I'm not gonna sit down for 10 minutes just blow drying my hair, so. We just gonna do it for as long as I can. And then, um, yeah, I'm gonna do what I need to do for the rest of this hour, and then I'll come back and show you guys the end results, so.
yes i know sorry again i'm back but i had to remind you guys go get the, go get your hundred dollars sign up for the giveaway all you got to do is go and follow me on instagram and go and follow the instructions underneath this post right here and you will have your chance to win a hundred dollars all right just had to remind you all right i'm out after for one hour it's down here now um, it worked it worked it worked okay i'll see you guys tomorrow Video. thank you so much for staying tuned if you made it this far into the video make sure you put the lips emoji I don't know why I decided to do that I think because I kind of just puckered my lips while I was thinking and that's the reason why there's no freaky deaky reason for why I said that anyway y'all let me know what you guys think of this style let me know if you like it do you like the color does it work well on me or should I do another color give me suggestions uh, here's stuff that you guys would like to see me do next and just keep them coming the more video ideas you give me the more videos I get to put out there that's enough blabber make sure you like this video super special shout out to our featured subby of today's video bang 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 thank you so much for your love for your support I really appreciate it I hope you're having a fantastic day a great week and a fantabulous life God bless you if you would like to be featured in any of my next upcoming videos you already know what to do make sure you comment 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 down below whoa the devil is a liar oh my ring light screw is just gone trying to knock me out <laughs> the devil lies trying to knock me out Ooh, what is wrong with you see that's how you know this video is about to be great anyway what was i saying i can't even remember if you'd like to be featured in any of my upcoming videos you already know what to do make sure you comment 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 down below and of course you subscribe to join the gang 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 so we can hang 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 hey i'm gonna catch y'all later Peace. Oh, she read. Y'all, y'all, listen. It is official. I am Ariel, the little mermaid, because I have red hair now. Y'all know my name is Ariel, right? Like, my name's not actually Ari. Comment down below if you guys actually already knew that my name is not really Ari. It's just my nickname. My name is actually Ariel. Did y'all know that? <laughs> Yo, okay, it's time to go. Comment down below. Let me know. Love you guys. Bye.